and welcome back. So we are going to continue with Super Metroid. We are currently in Brinstar, which is a vegan paradise, minus the insects and the things that'll kill you, and those rocket-powered fart machines. But that one. Like him. Like him. Or her. I don't know. I'm not a biologist. I don't... I have no, I have no idea. I'm not an animal doctor! Alright, what are you doing down there? Oh, are you down there? Maybe I can get down there. Ah, I don't know what that is. I don't have that. Okay. So, first... Bug-eyed freaks can die. We'll go through this door. Oop. Five missiles away. Why do those doors need to be shot in order to get through them? Nobody knows. But we're gonna go with it. Because the game's that good. Ah, damn it. Not fast enough. However! Even though the game said, Nah, bruh. It gave me the missiles I needed to continue. Take it, take it, take it! William and Charles. Ah, so there's more. Can I go? Okay. Can't go that way. So, clearly I need something else. My amazing run button doesn't seem to take me fast enough over that. <laughs> I'll have to figure that mystery out. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, can I go towards this item room? You can tell it has an item, because there's a little dot in the bubble. However, I have more missiles, which means I have more options. Okay. Is it glow? Oh, that made it darker. Alright. So now I have to choose between killing those things and making it darker. Well, I do like a dark foreboding field in my games. Sometimes. And this is a missile recharge. Oh, thank you. Mm, thank you. Wasn't an item room. Just a missile recharge station. Well, damn it. Aha! Now, see, that's that's the subtle hand of the the creators trying to tell, trying to show you something you haven't seen yet in a way that isn't heavy handed. They put it on the map, and you could go the other direction. You'll eventually find one anyway and learn what it is. But now you know early that some of those dots could just be missile recharge stations. They can be save points. They can be a lot. Of, well, not save points. This is not else, but they they could be map rooms. They can be a lot of different things. But you know it's something, something helpful and something you'll likely want. Oh no, it's a dead end! But see, it looks like it ends over there because of the grayscaling, so what if I... Oh my god! It's almost like the game is teaching me to recognize when there's secrets. Ooh. Because nobody stops me. Oh god! Except for those guys. They stopped me. And this looks weird. Hmm, speed booster blocks. Can't go that way. See, and they put these in here, and I'm pretty sure they're just to grind stuff out, but... Don't have to use them. Aha. What are those? Hmm. Interesting. The mystery deepens. Oh, hi! Don't go away! Jesus. Oh, God! Forgot about that. Sometimes you're just gonna take hits in this game. That's okay. It's okay, it teaches you. I don't know what yellow doors are. Oh. Can't use them yet. Alright, so that's gonna knock me down. Now, the best part about this game is that you can sequence break it if you know what you're doing. <laughs> Hello! See, I'm sometimes good at games. I wasn't supposed to get that yet. But fuck it, I want 20 missiles, so this game can suck. Suck a big fat hairy choke. Ah, and you need power bombs. That's what they're called to get through. That's unfortunate. Alright. So, because I'm a idiot and I always like completing my map first. 
Come here. Stop hitting me. Ooh! More missiles! More shoosting! Yeah. I also love that noise, by the way. I always forget how good the music in this game is, and it's on an SNES cart. Like, I know it was better than the previous ones, but even so, like, this game is so good. Charge beam! That's right, bitches. Feel my energy. Alright. Hmm, this looks odd. Oh no. Damn it, Charles. Guess I'm just gonna have to go through here. Oh no! Blocked by green doors! Can't go through them either. Damn! Guess we're gonna have to go back! Through the bug infested swamps of Brinstar! Ah. Can't use that one. Guess I'll have to go the direction they intended me to go. For now. Oh, Ow, no, that's not. That's not what I wanted. Bastards. Bastard bugs. Alright. Ah, uh, oh, wall crawling. What do you think you are, Spider Man? You're not Spider Man. Just save me. I'm suspiciously stealing the door. Hmm. Maybe it leads to a save room. <gasps> it does! My god! Oh, I actually do, do want to do that. Please. Please. Damn it, now I have to leave the room. I fucked it up! Sometimes I'm good at games, and the next minute I'm freaking stupid. There we go. That's right. Digitize my body. Matrixy. Did you see that? Ooh. Item suspiciously close. Come back for those later. Yeah, see? They let you use these to kind of recharge and get some stuff back. Sometimes because they need you to, because they feel like there's something ahead. Sometimes just because they know that the area before it was a little douchey. So those guys are kind of tough. But one missile takes them out. Oh. Now see, this is weird. What's with this? Ah, yes, and the reason it's flashing is the door was locked until I killed everything in the room. That's usually the requirement if the door turns gray. So for this one, oh, I can't, I can't do anything with that. It's this. So I don't understand. Oh, that's weird. You, sir, are strange. it on that, but okay. Mm. This boss fight's kind of boring, honestly. Damn it. You basically gotta shoot him in the with missiles in the center when he's not when he's It's really not hard, but I'm probably going to die because I'm trying to talk at the same time as fighting the first sort of sub-bossy in this game. Really only accepts one hit. It's just a slow crawl fight. It's it's just kind of boring, honestly. It's it's one of the only things in this game. There's only a couple things in this game that the fight's really not all that entertaining. But it's also supposed to be the first slow fight, and it kind of is supposed to really just indicate to you that, like, hey, something's up. 
something's weird about this area. It's going to be different than the other ones. Like, you're going to not... It's not going to work the same way. The, the rules aren't the same in just a second, basically. It's to start making you think that when you see things that don't seem to match up with everything else in the area, that, hey, maybe you should be a little cautious. And not just because it's a new area, but because the things you're seeing are just unique, even for that area more than anything else. Is I, I think the reason this fight exists and it's so simple. Now it, she gets faster. Woo! I whatever it is. Bye-bye. Ha ha ha. Dodged. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh, dodged. Whoa! Take missiles to the face, jerk! You know, and you just use these little pollen things to recharge. Meh! Die already, Jesus! You can sometimes get two or three hits on, on it, but it can be kind of tough. There we go. Die! Disgusting plant beast! I don't remember the name of that thing. It has a name, but I don't remember it. I just call it Plant Boss Numero Uno. And it's really more of a mini boss. A lot of the bosses will be very careful to set up and make sure you have, like, the full bosses, I mean, because that's a mini boss. Uh, to kind of, like, set you up and know, let you know, like, oh shit, shit's about to go down, yo. Alright. Come on, one out. Oh, nothing's coming out. What happens if I... Oh, secret passage! Woo! It's almost like Halloween never left. Secrets and secrets. What's this? Ooh. A super missiles. I like to call them the Green Death. As you can see. Now, I have them. We'll see how effective they are. Huh! <laughs> Ow. Trying to make jokes. Now, smart thing. Little tip at the end is green and the icon that you pick up. These swords are green. Boom! Oh, and it's so powerful it knocked enemies right out of the ceiling. Damn! Oh my god! Alright. So that's the first boss defeated. Break through there. Duh. Oh, waste them all. But now you remember there was that green door down here. Right? So, come through here. Yeah. Boom! And we can go down this way. Oh! Now you see that? Technically, technically. I can get up there, it's just exceedingly difficult. Like, it's like, technically you're not supposed to be able to get up there yet until you have the high jump boots. Um, there's another item in this game that you get. Oh. Uh oh. You gotta make sure you do the spin jump, because you can do the wall jump. From the start of the game, you can sequence break the hell. Now, you, you can see that there's no point because I can't open those yellow doors yet. But still, you can do it. I'm not going to waste any more time on that. Because, well, I'm good, I'm not that good. Most of the time. I can do it, it just usually takes a lot of dedication. Oh. Let's see, I don't... No. No. Had enough! Enough of the bullshit! But yeah, this game is famous because you can see... Uh, well, not just because of this, but a big part... A big reason that this game is famous is that you can sequence break it, which basically just means you can do a lot of the stuff out of order. Sometimes through glitching, but most of the times through legitimate ways. Like that wall jump, they don't teach you that until way later, but when you go to replay, you know it's a thing, and you know you can do it from the start because you don't make a pickup for it. They just make it obvious way later down the line. 
And so you unlock a new ability, but only because the game finally says, hey, you can do this. But you've been able to do it for most of the time. Run. That's the room that's supposed to teach you to run, but I don't know how to do that. Um, which is really cool. Really cool. Um, and that lets you get into a lot of areas you're not supposed to get to until you have the high jump boots. Like, technically speaking, uh, if I get really lucky and I'm really good, I can technically sort of do this. You can technically climb this passage, but you're not supposed to be able to. As you can see. Whoop. Now, you can climb all the way up that, but if you hit any of these, you're going to get knocked down. So it's pretty hard. So we're going to go the intended path. Oops, for now. That sweet, sweet energy. Alright. Okay, oh, killed something. Aha! Secrets. And now the game does something kind of cool. It traps you down here. In this big old pit of death. Now there's a reason for it, but it does do it. And that's an energy recharge station. It expects you after the boss fight and going through that area that you're going to be able to get low on health if you have grinding. It's nice. Ah, so what's this? Water. Oh, it's so slow. I want to run, but you cannot. So that is meant, it's a, it's a difficult jump, but not impossible, and it's just meant to show you, hey, water's an impediment right now. Be careful. And that's mostly because of some of this. Now, it's best not do this until later on, but fuck it, because I know I can. Huh. <laughs> I'm cheating. <laughs> So I want the spacer early. You're not supposed to get into the get the high jump boots. A lot of the stuff in this area is centered around the high jump boots, at least in terms of the secrets. But it's another one of those things where it's like, hey, you know you can do that, right? You can get into this thing. You can do this. But you can't do it yet, is usually the idea. Unless you're good like me. <laughs> See, now the trick is that other placement, if you don't shoot it, you bomb, and then it goes, oh, no, and then drops you right on that thing, which is totally not cool. Now, the spacer's cool because it lets you basically um, shoot and see from below, they go, hey, there's something up here. And you've seen this before, this kind of architecture, and it's usually involved with an elevator or some sort of item or something like that. Some grabby claw hand bastards. <coughs> now, the spacer's main duty is just to make it so you can shoot a wider beam, which is nice. So you can hit more. You have a bigger hitbox. Ooh, what's this? This is weird. It looks like you can go other places, but you can't. And I will have you notice, if you check your map, it says we're in Meridia? That's weird. Hmm, a mystery for later, perhaps. Alright. And now... Ooh, says there's stuff over here. <sighs> See, it uses the map really effectively in this game. Now, this area you're not supposed to get to either until way later, but if you're good, which I can be sometimes, I swear, haha, you can technically get up here way earlier. Now, uh, we're not going to do that initially, but uh, yeah, you can do that. So let's see what's down here. Mm, where are we going? Take me to your leader? Elevator? Elevator leader? A leader? Leader vader? I don't know. Either way, it takes you down. And now I'm in the depths of Norfair. Ooh. Now, if you don't know in the first game, that's where we met Ridley. So, hopefully he's in here and we can take his ass down. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you all in the next episode as we continue our search for Ridley, the Space Dragon Bastard. Bye.